Hello everyone, introduce me Stella, one of students taught by Mr. Charles Bonar Sirait in this fifth semester of Public Speaking and Presentation Skills course at London School of Public Relations, Communication and Business Institute, Jakarta. In this semester, we discover about public health. According to Acheson from the World Health Organization, public health is defined as the art and science of preventing disease and promoting health through the organized efforts of society. But why is it so important to talk about it? For me, it's become important due to aiding and prolonging life. Through the prevention of health issues, individuals can spend more of their years in good health. The curriculum of most courses in public health conventionally include subjects such as epidemiology, health policy, health promotion, health management, environmental health, human biology, and health economics. By the 21st century, the focus has widened to confront newer epidemics of ill health resulting from drug abuse, obesity, and smoking. But by this research, we want to bring the topic of HIV. The human immunodeficiency virus is a virus that attacks the immune system. Once entering the body, the HIV particles will combine with the DNA of the infected person cells. Once the person infected with HIV, they will be infected for the rest of their life. So many have a stigma or stereotype that these HIV infectious are naughty people, drug users, and sex invaders. But this deviant behavior is not the only cause of HIV transmission. Regardless of the stigma circulating, it will be better if the public knew how to prevent HIV by not having sex carelessly, not taking drugs, and actively seeking correct information. Forms of discrimination in the family are being ostracized. When the family should be the main place, where the survivors get support so that it can prolong their life and quality of life. This discrimination can disrupt the lives of survivors by affecting physical, physiological and social pressures, and even depression. Negative labels and discrimination they receive can affect the sufferer's perspective on themselves or their self-concept. In communicating, public health also can be discussed through social media. Large platforms such as YouTube are the media that help the effectiveness of information and education about public health to spread widely. Through this research, we are interested in analyzing how the communication strategy from Kasi Suitno Foundation through the Saya Brani campaign used to reach the target is effective. In addition to the commitment to end the AIDS pandemic by 2030, the Saya Brani Health Campaign Program also aims to help the public understand general information about various issues related to sexual and reproductive health and encourage them to act immediately and seek medical assistance if they are at risk or contracting sexual transmitted infections including HIV infection. Cyberny social media strategy is designed to create a comprehensive strategy and action plan. The strategy consists of an outline of the mission target audience, message, barriers and objective of the Saya Brani campaign. That's all I can say. Thank you.